Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another video from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Today we're doing a book review. That's right, a book review, all right? You're gonna be happy that I did this book review because this book has a lot of information that can help you out when you're making videos with Pinnacle Studio 16 Plus and Ultimate or Avid Studio. Booyaka! 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 Love it! This is Pinnacle Studio 16 Plus and Ultimate Reveal by Jeff Naylor. Now, Jeff Naylor, for those of you who don't know, but I know, is active in the Pinnacle Studio forums and the Avid Studio forum. So he is a technical expert at Pinnacle Studio and Avid Studio. He's brought a lot of information to the table in this book and in other uh, media as well as online. He has avidstudio.net, got some other things going on. He's really done a lot to help people out with making great videos. And this book is no exception to that. This book is chock full of information. So let's talk a little bit about the book. First of all, this book has information on basic editing, advanced editing. You got information on title editor, importing from different devices, exporting. It's got tips and tricks. It's got information, some of my favorite information on the library. Love that information. Um, it's a great book. I mean, anybody, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a pro, this book is really going to help you out. Now, the book is huge. All right, it may take you four score and seven years to read through the whole thing, but like I said before, it's got a lot of great information, so you're gonna to wanna to utilize this book and go through it all to get the most out of Avid Studio and Pinnacle Studio 16. Now, one thing that I think is my pet peeve about the book is it's not in color. There's no color pictures, but it doesn't stop it from being effective because the pictures in the book are, are big and they have a lot of information, they've got you know, a lot of things pointing to the information that you need to know. So the pictures are useful. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I like color. Okay. I'm colored. I like color. How it is. Another great thing about the book that I actually did like a lot is that Jeff does a great thing. He provides you with files that you can utilize. You can go online, get the files, download them, and utilize them and walk step by step through the instructions in the book. It makes it so simple for you to learn what you're doing because you know exactly what you're supposed to do with this file, how it's supposed to look when you're done. He explains it meticulously and he makes it really easy for you to follow along by utilizing those files. So it is a great resource for you to learn. You'll learn. If you don't like learning, don't buy it. But if you like to learn and you like to use it, get this dang book. The book costs about $45. So you make the call on that one. Um, I think it's well worth the money that you spend on it because the benefits that you're going to get from reading the book are tremendous. I'm going to go through the book. I'm going to go to the website, show you where you get the files, show you some information on there. And I'm going to show you some of the pictures and some of the information pages of the book that will help you see how useful this book is and how much it'll really help you out in learning how to use Pinnacle Studio 16 and Avid Studio. Let's get into it. So here we are at the website where you can go ahead and buy the book and get the download files and a bunch of other great information. So the website is dtvpro.co.uk. So you can see here, you got some links at the top of the page. I'm gonna go through some of these and tell you a little bit about the great information that's available on this site. But first and foremost, you got the YouTube channel here. So you can go to and check out some information on there. You've got the page to download the files. So there have been books before this one. Yes, prior to this one, there was Pinnacle Studio 15 revealed and Pinnacle Studio 14 revealed. So if you have those programs, you can still get the books for those as well. Now, these are the download files, so depending on your capability of being able to download files online, you can go ahead and pick and choose which, which one of the files you want to download, or you could just get all the files, you know, for a zip format. You got Google Drive, you got Box, so you can, you know, download them to the uh, cloud. It's got a lot of different options on here. Now, if you do not have the ability to download the files for free, you can buy 
data DVDs, which have the files on them for you as well. So it gives you the option of getting the files in different ways for those of you who may not have a, a fast internet connection or something like that. So then you got the book info. So it's a great information, just some, you know, information on the books here, all the books that are available, uh, Pinnacle Studio 16, 15, and 14, and some reviews that were left by some great people who also love the books. And of course, you can buy the books. Got all the different ways you could buy it on here. And then one of my favorite parts besides the book itself is the support page. This support page has a lot of useful information. You got patches here for uh, Pinnacle Studio 15, upgrading to 15. You got uh, useful links, uh, the Pinnacle Forum. So you can go ahead and click on this and it'll open up a new tab for you. You've never been on the forum, you need to go there. A lot of great information. You can ask questions here, get a lot of great info. Also, some free stuff. Okay, free. I'm talking free stuff, baby. Um, RTFX uh, plug-in for time code. You got some uh, the grid for the motion title editor. You got a lot of other information on here. Some tips for copying and pasting projects and using image burn for DVD compatibility. So a lot of great stuff on here. Of course, one of my other favorite sites to go to about Pinnacle Studio, uh, Decklick Video Effects. You know, great website to get information about Pinnacle Studio 16 and Avid Studio as well. So you got a link to that on here. And PinnacleStudio.info, which is a great site, uh, the Jeff Naylor site, to get information on Pinnacle Studio 16, Avid Studio, earlier versions of uh, Pinnacle Studio, uh, links, the forum. So if I go to Pinnacle Studio 16, got a lot of great information on here, Pinnacle Studio 16. You got Avid Studio information on here as well. Uh, earlier versions of Pinnacle Studio. Some general articles that you can look at. Links. So you got links to the forum. You got links to uh, Deck Like Video. Uh, you got links to the Avid Knowledge Base. And uh, links to uh, our old YouTube page, which is uh, Avid Studio Pro. Those of you not to know, the new page is Pinnacle Studio Pro. So... You need to subscribe to that because that's where all the new videos show up at. And you got news archives, a lot of great news and information. If you want on the know in Pinnacle Studio, there's a place to go get it. And then they have their own forum here that you can ask questions on. So that's cool too. All right. So that's most of the great information that you can get online. Don't forget. Download these files. These files are going to be very useful to you if you buy the book so you can follow along with the instructions of the book. So next up, I'm going to show you some of the pages of the book and let you get a look at that great information that you will be gaining from Pinnacle Studio 16 Plus and Ultimate Revealed. The first page I want to show you is about Simple timeline editing is basically introducing you to Pinnacle Studio. So it talks about a few of the things, a few of the icons, and then it goes and shows you a screenshot with everything mapped out and labeled for you. So it makes it really easy for you to follow along as you go through the book because we're showing the, the movie editor window and you got all the labels on here. So when he talks about the navigator or the movie editor timeline or the display icon, or he's referring to the play windows. You know what he's talking about because everything is clearly labeled for you so that you can be ready to do all of the editing and follow all the directions that Jeff gives you in the book. Uh, the next page is about importing from uh, DVD images that are stored on a hard disk. So you get a great screenshot coming up first of the import screen. So you have all the options that you can you know, import from. You got your folders. Everything is clearly uh, placed on here for you to understand what he's talking about as he goes through the explanation of how to go ahead and uh, import the DVD images. Then you have adding new watch folders and setting the media type. For those of you who just let the default uh, watch folders be created when you set up Avid Studio or Pinnacle Studio 16, this is great for you because you'll know how to add new watch folders uh, name them, set up the media types, all that great information is here. Easy to follow, easy to understand. He explains it quite well. 
Then we have a DV camera capture. So if you have a DV camera and you want to capture things or images, video from it, this will tell you how to do it. Gives you the layout, shows you how everything looks. Simple, easy to understand, and easy to follow. For those of you who don't know how to do trimming and inserting clips or overriding, great chapter on that here. And the great screenshots of examples of how it looks side by side, before and after. Um, this is a great tutorial for people who need to learn how to do trimming. Then we've got the title editor. Everybody wants to make great titles. You know, everybody wants to make sure that the uh, discs that they create are useful. They're, you know, um, don't have errors and uh, menus work. This will tell you how to do all of that. Great example, once again, with everything labeled, showing you where all the different specific features are that he describes when he's talking about making the disc or making the titles or the, en or the menus, excuse me. Great explanation that follows the picture here. And last but not least, more of the disc editor menu list and uh, disc tools labeled for you as you go through and you create a, uh, a menu and sub menus and great explanation of how to get it done. Now that you got a taste of the book and seen a few things that you can get, uh, seen a few of the pages, seen some of the information that you can get from buying this book, Leave me your comments below. Let me know what information you want to know about the book. If you haven't purchased it already. And um, I'll be able to get back with you and give you some information on things that you might be wanting to know if the book includes. Because, you know, it's video like this is not enough time to go through all of this great information. So leave me your comments. I'll get back with you. You know that I always do. I'll answer your questions because comments are what drive me. I love comments like a fat kid loves cake. Also... If you thought this comment, this content was good, you thought this content was useful to you, hit the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Love it. Gotta hug that thumb, hug that thumb. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.